When you think of the moonwalk, you will immediately think of the singer Michael Jackson, a person who the dance is synonymous with. Most people think this iconic dance move originated with the artist, but it didn't. The moonwalk or backslide is a dance move in which the performer glides backwards but their body actions suggest forward motion. The moonwalk is a popping move. It became popular around the world following Michael Jackson's performance of Billie Jean on Motown 25 special, which was broadcast on May 16, 1983, and he included it on ever tour and most live performances, constantly refining the move. Jackson has been credited as renaming the backslide to the moonwalk and it became his signature move. Michael Jackson's autobiography was titled Moonwalk, and he also starred in a 1988 film titled Moonwalker. The dance is an illusion created by the appearance of the dancer gliding backwards. Initially, the front foot is held flat on the ground, while the back foot is in a tiptoe position. The flat front foot remains on the ground but is sliding lightly and smoothly backward past the tiptoe back foot. What is now the front foot is lowered flat, while the back foot is raised into the tiptoe position. These steps are repeated over and over creating the illusion that the dancer is being pulled backwards by an unseen force while trying to walk forward. Variations of this move allow moonwalking to appear to glide forward, sideways, or even in a circle. Where did the moonwalk come from, actually? Well, the moonwalk came from these beautiful children, these black kids who live in the ghettos uh -huh. and, you know, the inner cities mm -hmm. who are brilliant. They just have that natural talent for dancing. Any of the new hot, the running man, any of these dances, they, they come up with these dances. All I did was enhance the dance. The dance style originated in the 1930s and saw several dancers evolve it into what it became. Michael Jackson was in awe of dancers like Fred Astaire, Il Bailey, Dick Van Dyke, Judy Garland, and James Brown. The young Jackson wanted to embody the dance till it was all natural and continuously worked on the move till he was ready to debut it on the Motown special. The moonwalk was the only part of his iconic rendition of Billie Jean planned that night. Though he received universal praise and a standing ovation from the crowd, Jackson was not satisfied with the end result of the show he explained in his 1993 sit-down interview Oprah. Phenomenal. When I did Motown 25 and I did the moonwalk for the first time, I was backstage crying afterwards because I was unhappy. You cried after Motown after 25? After Motown 25. But then as I was walking to the car, there was this little boy, he was like 12, he was a little Jewish kid, and he said, you're amazing. Who taught you to ever dance like that? And for the first time, I felt I did a good job because I know children don't lie, and I just felt so good about it then. Music critic Ian Inglis later wrote that Jackson encapsulated a long tradition of African-American dance movements in that one performance. Moonwalking received widespread attention, and from then on, the moonwalk became Jackson's signature move for his song, Billie Jean. Nelson George said that Jackson's rendition combined Jackie Wilson's athleticism with James Brown's camel walk. The moonwalk remains a fixture in modern dance, as adopted by contemporary singers, such as Carly Rae Jepsen, Jason Derulo, as well as Jackson-inspired artist, Bruno Mars.